my decision to come back to the Central Valley and live being queer, being mixed race, um, being progressive. I came home with no illusion that it would be easy. Mass and Marcy Masumoto, welcome to Daily Extra. Um, you're in a film called Changing Season, which tells the story about your daughter, Makiko, taking over your family farm. And one of the things I found really interesting about the film was how candid she is about her fear around being openly gay and working in the rural part of California where you guys are from. What were your fears about her being openly gay and taking over your farm? Well, one of the challenges is agriculture farming communities tend to be fairly conservative uh, and uh, they um, tend to be fairly homogeneous too. I mean, the fact that we came from a different background, being Japanese American, uh, already stamped us as being different in that sense, in our history of our family, uh, immigration with my grandparents and unable to buy land, uh, of course the World War II relocation of Japanese Americans. It was embedded in our DNA that we're going to have to always have a little struggle and challenges. So when, uh, when the Kiko came out, uh, I think it was just this evolution of not only our, our family, but really of the farm community too. It's a little better. See how it's separated much yeah. more? And now you have this nice group here, nice group. There's a part of me that says, am I making a mistake by having her follow in these footsteps? What is the destiny for this life? Do you want to pass that on to your child? Oh, it. And at the same time, the joy of having your own child follow in your footsteps. What has the acceptance of your family been to how out Nik Nikiko is about who she is? You know, I think, in a funny way, Marcy helped break it because, you know... They, they, how did you know. help break it? <laughs> Just coming into the family, you know, oh, being non-Japanese American, <laughs> you know, so... What's you know, next? Kind of, exactly, exactly. I think they're, they're at this point, where, you know, yeah. Marcy and Marcy have some, some other surprises yeah, yet, exactly. you know? Again, it was this wonderful fusion. Right. When Marcy and I got married, it was clear she was coming to be part of the farm. The same thing with Nikiko, right? She, was, she came out, my mom, uh, you know, braced herself for it, but at the same time, Nikiko was coming back home, going to be part of the farm, literally living in the house I grew up in, and it was my mom's house. So there's all these uh, wonderful opportunities to have connection. I have found a home for myself here, both on the farm as a peaceful place for me to be free with the trees as my best friends and my family who are amazing human beings. <laughs> the big picture is resilience, right? The big picture is to continue to do this, to save the family farm for another generation, to keep feeding people. Go Beach! <laughs>